Hey, this is Nicola from Podia, and I'm going to show you how to set up a website. So I'm making a website for one of my favorite hobbies, which is road tripping, and I will build my site along with you so you can see all the steps. I am going to start by clicking on edit site in the site builder. And the very first time you open up the Podia website builder, you'll have the option to choose your starting colors. Um, and you can change these later. So pick the one you like the most. And then we're going to start with a blank site. I'm going to click continue. You can also choose your site's language. And now we are in the website builder. So at first it'll look kind of plain like this. This is your home page. And to add content to the page, we click this plus button. So the first thing we're going to add is some hero text at the top of the page. So Podia is going to pull in some uh, sample text so you can see how the section looks. I am going to add my content here and then I'll show you how we can style it and customize it. Now I'm going to click the design tab and this is where I can change the style of this section. So I'm going to put it as centered and I'm going to adjust the horizontal padding to make it a bit taller as a hero image. And then for the theme, I can click in and choose from some different color presets. And these are going to vary depending on what you picked at the beginning. I'll show you how to update these colors in just a minute, but let's go with the dark theme and I want to add a background image. So if I click into here, this actually lets me upload an image from my computer or search for Unsplash, search for an image on Unsplash that will pull it in automatically. So I'm going to find an image and then I'll show you how we can customize that. Okay, so I like this image. And when you add an image into the background, you get these options to adjust it. So I am going to turn off the gray scale, up the contrast, and then I'm going to make it just so those letters show up nice and clear. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go back and click this plus sign again to add the next section. And I want to add two call out boxes for important places on my website. I want to make sure that people go check out my blog and my free product. Now I haven't set up my blog in Podia just yet, and I haven't added my free product. So for now, I'm going to set this up as a placeholder. And once I add those two things into my Podia site, I'll come back and connect them in a later video. So this is the grid section. You can click in and this is, you can delete items. You can add more items down here. I'm just going to have two items for now. So I'm going to add my heading, body, button, and item content, and then we'll customize the style. I've added in my content here, and you'll notice this looks a little wonky with these photos as different sizes. So I'm going to go back. This is my grid section again. And in the design tab, I'm going to set the image aspect ratio to wide, and that's going to automatically make those the same size. So I'm also going to adjust, let's see, I'm going to play around with some different um, design elements here. I, maybe I like those centered. You can make this section wider or narrower. I'm going to also give it a little more padding. And then you can choose if you want to add a color background or leave it as is. Okay, great. So for the next section, I want to add a bio and I'm going to use this pre-built bio section. And this is where I'm going to tell people about my business, about me, and just get to know people who are visiting my website for the first time. I've got my image and my content added. One thing that's really nice about this section is you can also add links to your socials right here. There's a lot of social media options to choose from. So that's a great way to just make sure that people can find you wherever you are online. The next section we're going to add is an email signup form. So this is automatically connected to Podia email. So anyone who signs up through this form will be added to your email list in Podia. You don't have to use any integrations. You can if you want to, but it's all set up for you um, out of the box. So there's a slim email form, which is a little more minimal option, but we're going to use a full size email form on this website. And I'm going to add an image that I made in Canva. And then I'm also going to update my copy to tell people what they can expect from my newsletter. Okay, I've got my image that I made in Canva. This is just a um, graphic that I made that has a transparent background. So whatever I put behind it will show through in this space. 
And then I would like to change the design of this um, because this is a little bit giant. So I'm going to go here and I want the image off to the side. And I think I want it to be a little bit smaller. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, I'm going to give it a little more vertical padding. And for this one, I want this to be dark with an image background. Um, and I think that'll look really cool with this image on top. So I'm going to go look in Canva for a background image. And once I find one that works, I'm going to adjust the grayscale, contrast, and opacity so that my content still pops and I can see what's behind there. Okay, so this is my basic homepage. You can add whatever you want on your homepage. There's tons of sections to choose from. So what I wanna show you next, um, this is the universal design settings tab. So whatever changes you make here are gonna take effect across your whole site, which is really great because this keeps your look consistent. Um, and it means you don't have to copy and paste um, tons of hex codes for your colors. So let's start with the colors. I like these colors, but I'm going to do a few adjustments. So I went to Coolers, which is this really cool website with pre-made color palettes. And I think I like this one. So I'm going to click and it copies the hex code over. And then I'm just going to go in here and paste the colors from coolers to set up a custom color palette. Now that I've got those pasted in, you can see that these changes have taken effect across my site. I am now going to go into the fonts and this is just the system default, but I think hmm, these are some presets that Podia has loaded. Oh, I like that one. You can also customize these fonts a lot more like granularly. If you go in here, there are tons of different fonts to choose from that you can pick, and then you can customize things like the weight, the height, the size, lots of options in here, but I'm going to go with a preset for now. But I want to go back through and show you now that we've adjusted our colors, when I go to the design tab, all of these sections are updated to match. So I'm going to do a quick pass to make sure these all look the way I want. Ooh. I don't know if I like that better. I think I like this one better. Maybe this one will do something kind of bright. Ooh, I kind of like that. And then this one I actually want to darken up a bit. Okay. Ooh, and I think this might be, we're going to customize the header in a later video, but for now, this is a little bit bright for me. So I'm going to just tone this down. <laughs> All right. Cool. So we've got our colors set up. We've got our homepage set up. In the next video, I will show you how to set up some other parts of your website and we'll be on our way.